Hey, what's up guys? Ben here, and welcome to your, what is this, 17th, wow, 17th um, FRC Team 2485 Robotics Programming Java Tutorial Video. Let's go with this. Um, okay, this time we're going to be creating some new sequences in Sequencer Factory, some new autos, and we are going to be working with the ratchet this time. And this time I'm going to be typing, so you can type along if you'd like. Um, the code is on the GitHub, and uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start out by saying, well, maybe you don't just want the rollers intake. Maybe you also want the rollers and ratchet. So I'll make rollers um, and ratchet. Um, so now you have two different types of autos. So now we're going to switch auto types. And we're going to say on case, um, on case, rollers and ratchet. Um, we're going to return new sequencer with a new, whoops, well, we can. Boom, new sequenced item, uh, an array of those, because we want multiple things to be happening. And we're going to go, let's say, new, what do we want to happen? We want, um, okay, well, I'm going to do one where it's just new, um, new retract ratchet, right. Uh, what is it called? New set ratchet position. Ratchet position, or I'm going to say true. We want to extend the ratchet. Um, and then I also want new run rollers. And I'm going to do that at uh, 0.75 speed for 5 seconds. Okay. Um, and now that we have that, so what that auto now is going to do, if you set it to um, a case run rollers and ratchet, so now it's going to uh, extend the ratchet and the run the rollers all in one autonomous sequence. Um, so now that's cool that you can make two autonomous sequences like that. Um, now let's try a new teleop sequence. Let's call this one public static sequencer create all ratchet <laughs> and this one's gonna this one's gonna be crazy what are we gonna do with this one return new sequencer uh, we're gonna do what are we gonna do here New uh, sequenced item, and this is so annoying. Did that better last time, but okay. So you have an array of sequenced items now, and you want those sequenced items to be, let's say, new. Extend, no, not extend, set, ratchet, position, and we're going to say uh, true. Um, and then new, I'm just going to say one more time, let's copy and paste this. Um, I'm going to change the false. Let me go one more time, set it to true. So that's just going to be crazy with the ratchet. So if you press a button, it's going to be like, <laughs> and it's going to do that. So I don't know why you'd want that, but if you want it, that is how you would do it. <laughs> um, and I'll do one more here just to showcase another thing that this the sequencer factory can do. We can do case, let's say rollers and ratchet, and I'll say, Simultaneous. 
Boom. And what we need to do here, roll caps lock, rollers, and ratchet, uh, simultaneous. Simultaneous. Sim this is really going to take way too long. Roll <laughs> rollers. Rollers and ratchet. Simultaneous. I think that's right. Sorry if that's not right, guys. Um. Anyway, I'm going to be sorry if it's right. <laughs> not right when we get to the later part. Um, and all I'm going to do here is return new seek sequencer. I'm going to go colon and then I'm going to go new. See, I got it that time. <laughs> Sequenced item array. Boom. And I'm going to go new sequenced multiple item. So now we're going to try to do two things at once. Um, all right, so this is going to be pretty cool. So we're going to go here, and we're going to go uh, new set. I'll copy and paste this since it's just two elements. Awesome. And now, I don't know if that's the right way to do it. It looks weird, but anyway, um, I think that's right. Okay, so now you can do a sequence multiple item, meaning that both of these run at the same time. So you don't have to worry about staggering them. That's why it's called simultaneous. Then you can set those up. Um, all right, so in that, uh, in this video, we learned how to go through sequence refactory, create some sequences, uh, create some sequence multiple items, create some teleop sequences, and in the next video, we're gonna tie it all together with um, the final, kind of like the way to use it all in your robot code. So I hope these were helpful. I hope you'll join us for the next one. And uh, thank you.